Hey you guys, coming to you live from Vegas. Um, I just want to have a quick conversation and talk about some of my friends that I have seen um, that have gotten sick over the Thanksgiving holiday. So um, I say this all the time and I just want to reiterate how important it is for us to get out of those traditions. You know what I mean? It's like we always think that when the holidays come around, we have to do the same things that we've been doing for a long time. And um, what we have to understand is that if we continue to do the same things, we'll continue to get the same things. So I've seen a few posts, um, a few of my friends who have gone to the hospital or who have gotten sick um, after Thanksgiving. And then you will see like the foods that they ate before. If you go back and look, you will see the, the foods that they ate before. So I understand traditions are important, but I also understand that um, changing traditions are just as important. You know, it's like if you want to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday, that's fine. You can still do that. But at some point, we have to change what we're eating. At some point, we have to change the menu. Um, and it's funny that, you know, there are other cultures that come over here to America or whatever, um, and they keep their traditions. But in the black, uh, black and African American culture, we need to change some of those things because we are the ones that are filling up the hospitals. You know, we are the ones that are, majority of us are filling up the nursing homes. And you know, we're always sick with some type of disease. And I can't say enough that to me, <clears throat> disease can be up to almost 95% uh, preventable if you do the right things. And also I will even go as far as, far as to say they can be up to 90 or more percent um, curable as well with the same things, you know, with the same diet. So the information is out here. There are people out here that are willing to help you. I am absolutely one of them. You have to reach out to us. If you're really, really ready, I have people that come to me and want to, you know, change their diet. Oh, Dion, I need some help. You know, can you talk to me? Can you help me do certain things? And I can, but you have to be ready. You know what I mean? You have to be mentally ready for this because this is not something that is easy. If you've been eating like this for over a period of time, it's not gonna be easy to just stop it overnight. So you have to gradually start to change your mindset. And also um, for those people, I often recommend uh, certain documentaries uh, food documentaries to look at before we sit down and we talk because I want you to have all the information possible. I've been watching food documentaries for over 15 years. So I can't cram all of that information into one session. So you have to help me help you. You know what I mean? So I have friends who don't want to watch the documentaries that for fear of, you know, not being able to eat, you know, what they've been eating. But what? that's the whole point though. You know what I mean? That is the entire point. Because yes, you're going to have to change some things. Yes, you're gonna to have to modify some things, but if you wanna live a long, healthy life, then you're gonna to have to do that. Next, uh, well not next month, but in January, I will be 46 years old. Never felt better, you know, in my life. I hardly ever, ever get sick. I haven't been to the hospital in probably like five years or something like that. And um, I am very fortunate that if anything does come upon me, my body immediately starts to fight it. You know what I mean? Or I know what to do to get rid of it. You know, and I have my friends and my family who call me and say, hey, what is it, you know, that I can do to get rid of this real quick? So um, I just want to let my friends know that even on vacation, I am absolutely thinking about you. I am absolutely thinking about my business, Love Foods, because that is what Love Foods represents. Love Foods represents longevity, um, healthy eating. It represents, you know, electric foods. It represents a long, healthy life being able to run and jump when you get 80 years old. I will, I refuse to get in my 60s, 70s, 80s and not be able to run on the beach. You know what I mean? I refuse not to be able to still participate in all the activities that my family is having at that age. And it is absolutely doable, but you have to be ready. You have to be willing to change some things. Nothing ever, ever, ever comes you know, in life that's good for you or whatever without change. You have to change your mindset. You have to change the way that you look at things. So, once again, live from Las Vegas, it is your girl D. And um, say have a happy Sunday. Eat some greens.